Alright guys, after running Windows 7 for a while, I kind of wanted to compress everything down into one central control panel. And what we have is called a Mobility Center. That is something that's included with Windows, but typically is only on the laptop versions or mobile versions. Um, you can actually do the Windows button combination key with X on a laptop and it will bring up your Mobility Center. Unfortunately on a desktop, that's not an option. Um, it's something that's disabled by default. Even if you try to run the program, it's going to show that, unfortunately, it's not available on desktop computers, only available on mobile devices. Uh, so what we're going to do is just enable this for desktops. Um, once you see it running, it, it is a really handy tool. Um, the first place we're going to go is to this website, which is on 7 Forums. Um, it's going to give you uh, basically a download link right here to enable the desktop Windows Mobility Center. Uh, once you download that file, and by the way, I'll put the link in the sidebar for this, once you download that file, you're going to end up with a zip file here. Just extract that and you'll get this uh, registry edit. Uh, one thing I like to do is just check and see what's being added to my registry. Basically all it's doing here is uh, setting your PC to be a mobile PC. Uh, it's skipping your battery check, obviously because a desktop would not have a battery and it's running on a desktop. Um, the purpose of that is just to make sure that there's no malware or anything in there that's going to you know, really tear apart your registry on the next startup. Um, once you apply that it's going to ask you if you want to continue, obviously because it's a potential security vulnerability. Push yes, push OK, now you're done. That's been added. Um, you can restart if you want to, but it's not necessary. Uh, what you'll do now is open up this file, mblctr.exe. So you can go to your start menu down in your search box, mblctr.exe. That's going to come up, and here is your mobility center. Now this gives you a couple different things on my particular desktop. It may give you more, may give you less, depending on how you're set up. Um, obviously, you get volume control. Battery doesn't really apply. External display might be handy if you have multiple monitors that you want to disconnect, reconnect. Sync partnerships haven't really played around with that much. Uh, one thing that mine doesn't have would be a wireless box. There are some that have wireless box. You know, it, it's basically going to add on different modules depending on what else you're planning on doing or what other capabilities your computer has. Uh, so again, the name of that's mblctr.exe. So really all it is is just a simple registry ad adjustment and then opening the, f the file location itself. Um, what we can do is go ahead and set up a shortcut here. Go to New, Shortcut. Um, the location of the item is going to be C double dot backslash Windows backslash System 32 backslash MBLCTR.exe. Uh, you can browse and find that file as well. Just easier for me to type out. And then, you know, name the shortcut whatever you want. We'll just name it Mobility Center. Um, and there you go, there's your shortcut. Uh, one other handy thing with Windows 7 is go to Properties. Your shortcut key we can do. Uh, control alt x just like I told you in uh, the mobile versions on laptops it's going to be the Windows button X but this doesn't let you program a Windows shortcut key so it's a little bit different but gives you the same basic effect just apply that now if I close this whenever I do my control alt x up pops my mobility center so it's really handy as far as an easy way to adjust your volume disconnect networks uh, displays you know, just various various tools that your and capabilities that computer has. It just makes it all centralized instead of digging through the control panel to find what you need. Hope this helps you guys out. Hope you find it useful. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, any issues. I'll do the best that I can to respond and let you know. Thanks.